welcome back to Lay Talks with me, your host, Alea. On here, we talk about things in the media, things in my life, things in your life. If you like, comment, and subscribe. Today, we're talking about parasocial relationships with uh, Chapel Roan. We're going to be reacting to the Chapel Roan video. We're going to be talking about Cody Ko. And we're going to be talking about, um, what's her name? I don't even know. Like, one of, one of, the, one of the yearly influencers where their racist tweets come out. So we're going to be talking about her as well. But I think the the conversation of parasocial relationships have been in the conversation for a while now, especially since 2020 when that Imagine video came out. You know what I'm talking about. And just like us realizing the the big difference between celebrities and regular folks and how we really shouldn't be putting them onto a pedestal or treating them a certain way just because they know how to sing, they know how to act, all those different things. So I do want to start on, and I do want to give my two cents on the Chapel Roan situation because like she's getting, she's starting to get some backlash on it. And I think that it's pretty valid. No, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't think the backlash is valid. I think what she said is valid because she just wants to be a singer. You know, she wants to be a singer and she wants to she wants people to hear her voice, to hear her music. So why does why do fans have to come with it? You know what I mean? The words is why do why do stalking, threatening, coming up to her and uh, and constantly asking for a picture have to come with the talent? You can be a fan of her. That's amazing. And you can support her through her music. You can support her by going to her concerts, by buying her merch, all these things. But why does it have to get to the point where you're you're interrupting my 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 day to day? Imagine, you know, people people were talking about, you know, it's a job for her. And people were the example people gave which I really thought it was great. Imagine like you you just got off of work, man. You just got off of work and your boss is constantly calling you. Your boss is ca- calling you while you're at the store or the bo- your boss is coming up to you or your coworkers are coming up to you at, at your at at the bar when you're walking asking you for an email, asking you for a text and constantly off when you're off of your 9 to 5. You would be mad because the thing is when you're when you're at work, you're on. Right? You're you're on. You're like in the sense, in the sense that like you put on a mask to be very corporate, all these things. You have to be, you have to put on the face so that you can keep your job. You have to da-da-da. you have to be a certain person that you're that you're protect that you're probably not at home. And so for Chapel, it's probably really hard for her to 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 take a break when fans are constantly coming up to her, being like, Can I have a picture? Can I have a picture? It's like, hey, I'm at a dinner right now. I'm at a dinner with my with my parents right now. The answer is going to be no because I know if that you were in this situation, if it was you at a dinner, um, if it was you at a dinner, just trying to enjoy your time with your friends and family, you wouldn't want people coming up to you, or you wouldn't want your coworkers coming up to you, or random people from your high school coming up to you, um, asking for a picture. You just want to be able to be off. This is a nine to five for her. Yes, she gets paid more than you. Yes, she yes she's um, famous and 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 um, more famous than other singers and things like that. But the thing is, it's because she's talented. She it's because she's talented. She she has a great stage presence. She has a persona, but it's still a job. You know what I mean? Like if she could, she everyone wants to be rich. No, but not everyone wants to be famous. Everyone wants to be get it paid well so that she can have a comfortable life. That's not what she's 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 not designing that. Trust me, she's not denying the the uh, the money part of being being a singer. She wants to get paid to do what she loves. But what? But but unfortunately, the downside of it is being famous and everyone knowing your name and everyone knowing what you look like. And I just feel like people need to respect. Like, hey, this is her nine to five. How about you book a? How about we book a um a meet and greet during my nine to five hours? Book a meet. Book a meet and greet. And we can, and I can be on for you, and I can be chapel, and I can have my makeup on and do a, 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 a. But when I'm walking down the street, just trying to get, just trying to pick up some milk. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, for me personally, see, I'm, see, me and chapel are different. Me personally, I would love it. I don't mind being famous. I wouldn't mind being famous. The things that come with being famous, 
and also being rich. Because there's some people that are like, oh, rich and famous, I'd rather be rich or I'd rather be famous. Or like, I, I, just, wanna, I just want the money and nobody know my name or nobody know me. I'm different. I, I wouldn't mind. I would love for, if you will recognize me, that'd be really cool. If you will recognize me and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'll sign it or I'll take a picture. Like, I don't mind that, but some people do. And, and Chapel is one of those people. I saw a TikTok of this guy um, talking about how he was friends with Jason Momoa. Like, yeah, he was just, he, that was his friend. It wasn't like a, he, he was some type of assistant, things like that. No, he was, a, he was friends with Jason Momoa, right? And he was like, it was crazy just trying to be friends with him, just trying to, you know, go to the bars or just hang out with him because people would just line up behind him. He would just, he would, we would just be walking to, this is the story that he told. He was like, we would just be going to the bar to grab, go grab a drink and people would just line up behind him as if this was a meet and greet. And Jason had to be like, and, and he would try to tell Jason like, hey, tell them to go. And he was like, well, Aquaman 2 or something like that is coming out soon or, or Aquaman is coming out. And so I have to keep up this per persona. And I'm like, man, you can't even just take a break and get a drink and, and have a good time. Like, you know, have a nice time with your friends and just be like, like off. You have to, he has to constantly be on. And I feel like Chapel is, is tired of constantly being on. Imagine constantly having to put a mask on, masking corporately. Like think, think of like when you're at, at your work and imagine having to do that 24 seven every time you leave your house. And the only time you can be off is in your home. That's, that, that's really, that could be really frustrating. I need you to answer questions. Just answer my questions for a second. If you saw a random woman on the street would you yell at her from the car window? Would you harass her in public? Would you go up to a random lady and say, can I get a photo with you? And she's like, no, what the fuck? And then you get mad at this random lady? Um, would you be offended if she says no to your time because she has her own time? Would you, would you, stalk her family would you follow her around? like that part that part is crazy like stalking the family and following her around i would understand pause i would understand like let's say for me it's sebastian stan because everyone else i i for everyone else in marvel or like a lot of celebrities i'm like oh like i can just see them from, from afar and that's good enough for me like when i go to um comic-con in, in where i live um I don't do the meet and greets because it's not that serious for me. I'm like, okay, you're cool. I just want to see you in person. I just want to see that you're a real human being. And that's enough for me. I'm like, oh, I can see you from afar. Great. However, comma, my one person is Sebastian Stan. And I feel like that's the one person I would walk up to. But I would respect his time and I would respect his boundaries. And that's the thing. Some people, it's like, some people, Sebastian, the Chapel Roan is their Sebastian Stan, right? So you walk up to her and you're like, oh my gosh, I've seen you so many times. Like, I'm so scared. You walk up to her and, she, and you say, can I take a photo with you? If she says no, it's no. Oh my gosh, that would break my heart. I'm thinking about Sebastian Stan. I've been watching his stuff since I was 13, right? And I walk up to him and he's like, no, not right now. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, thank you so much. And I'd be like, this, it was enough for you. To, the thing is, the fact that you even turned to me and said no to me is like enough. But that's parasocial relationships, which, which we're going to get into, which is crazy for me to even like be like that's so like that's how my mind works. And that's how a lot of me, people's minds work. But you have to respect the no. You have to be like, OK, they said no. They're obviously busy. If this was literally anyone else, that's weird. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know Chapel Rose's music like that. I'm looking at her in this video and she just looks like a normal woman. It is weird to go up to someone and be like, hey, can I get a photo? And then being mad when they say no. It's like, what? I don't know. No, no, thank you. I don't know you. Imagine if somebody went up to you right now and be like, I don't know you. However, another however, comma. I don't know the, inter I, I bet the interactions that she's had, the way that she's saying it here, it seems like this is how she's talked to someone, but I doubt, like, I think that's why people are getting mad is because, like, the way she's talking here, she's she's using profanity, she's cursing, she's saying it more aggressively, so people are thinking that this is how she's talked to her fans, and I doubt that this is how she talks to fans when they come up to her. This is probably how it goes. Hey, can I get a photo? Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm, I'm busy right now. I'm not, no, thank you. That's probably how it goes. It's probably very, like, no as a sentence. I set my boundaries. Please don't, please don't touch me. Please don't, please don't take a photo of me. Please do not follow me. I understand I am famous. She, she has that understanding. But if it happens so many times, you get sick of it. Like, yeah. 
oh my gosh, Sebastian, if you meet me, like, please, please take a photo with me. Like, I just want this. That's it. Chris Evans, it's fine. I do love me some Christopher. It's fine. He can say no to me. Hugh Jackman, you can say no to me. Elizabeth Olsen. <sighs> no. Elizabeth, please. <laughs> please. It's Elizabeth and Sebastian are my two, man. Those are my top two. Scarlett Johansson can say no to me. Robert Downey Jr. can say no to me. I don't, like, I don't really care about these. Like, it's like, okay, y'all are rich and you, you're good actors. Awesome. Cool for you. Then there's those, you know? Anyways, let's keep watching. Would you try to dissect her life and bully her online? Bullying she online is crazy. Um, and she doesn't know you at all. Would you assume that she's a good person? Assume she's a bad person? Would you assume everything you read about her online is true? I'm a random bitch. You're a random bitch. Just think about that for a second, okay? I need you to answer questions. Yeah, she's she's going through it. You can tell, but yeah, she she's in. I I I hope that I don't know. Because again, I don't follow Chapel like this. But y'all can answer this question for me. I hope that her and Billy are close not close but know each other i wonder if that what if the ages are different i have no idea about anything about these women because i would say that chapel rowan and billy eilish are in the same boat where they both got famous really fast okay chapel rowan's 26 i know billy's like really young like she's like 21 right 22 okay so billy eilish is 22 and chapel rowan's 26 they could they could talk to each other i feel like they should have a conversation with each other and i feel like they would be able to relate very easily because they both got famous really fast. It's different from like a gradual famous so you can get used to it. But the the switch, it was like, what, what, what was it? Like literally last year where she only had like maybe 2,000 mon monthly listeners, something like that. Or like, a, or I think it was like something smaller, like 100,000. It was like, it was like something like 100,000 or less monthly listeners to where she's at now, where she's like, in, in like millions of monthly listeners selling out live 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 aid where people are com people are comparing it to queen queen which had decade had what a decade or two to get famous where well, with her maybe a decade i don't know the, i don't know i'm saying a lot of words out here maybe a decade to get famous with with her a year within a year Going from where she was at to for, to now, so this is extremely overwhelming for all these people to co to come up to you, and this is not what your life was. So you, so, but nobody has compassion. Nobody has compassion for her. It's like people aren't thinking. People think that there. Are, this is why for my movie reviews it is edited because of how much I stutter. But for late talks, it's an hour of me just ranting, okay, and stuttering. People think that they are entitled to her time just because she's famous, just because she's a good singer. Y'all made her famous. She didn't ask for this. She just wanted the money. Aw, womp. That's the, that's the reality of it. She wants the money, that, but like, she wants the money that comes with singing. But unfortunately, fame has to come alongside it. You can't just get paid this much to sing. You have to be famous. Like, to, like if someone's passionate, if someone's passionate about being a doctor, they can get paid a lot of money to be a doctor, but fame doesn't have to come with it. You can just be a good doctor and 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 get rich by it. But that's their passion. Her passion isn't being a doctor. Her passion is being a singer. You can't get paid millions of dollars without being famous. That's what comes with it. So people need to understand, like, if this is the person that you want to be famous, Chapel Roan, she's a great singer, she's a great performer, can you respect her time? And support her by going to her concerts and and buying her merch and and going to her meet and greets if you want to meet her so badly, you can still go up to her. But understand that no is a full sentence. No, I I do not want to take a photo with you right now. Whoop! Let's watch the second video. Let's watch the next one. I don't care that abuse and harassment, stalking whatever is a normal thing to do to people who are um famous or a little famous whatever i don't care that it's normal i don't care that this crazy type of behavior comes along with the job the career field i've chosen that does not make it okay that doesn't make it normal make it okay. i don't it doesn't mean i want it. it doesn't mean that i like it 
I don't want whatever the fuck you think you're supposed to be entitled to whenever you see a celebrity. I don't give a fuck if you think it's selfish of me to say no for a photo or for your time or to for a hug. That's not normal. That's weird. It's weird how people think that you know a person just because you see them online or you listen to the art they make. That's fucking weird. I'm allowed to say no. Yeah, I would I would I would think that's weird because you know there's times where I would think it's so weird. There's times where like like I just said, like I don't mind being famous. Like I would love if people recognized me. But it would be weird to get hugs from people all the time. Being like, oh, can I get a hug? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no. So I can't even, like, sometimes, like, some, like, little kids, sure, they're like, oh, I look up to you. That's, I'm never going to be that famous. Like, little kids, like, you know what I mean? Like, where the, have you seen the videos of, of these kids that are, that love Chapel Road and be like, oh, call me Chapel. And so kids would be like, oh, I want a hug. Kids are kids. They don't understand. They're a child. So it's like, okay, sure, a hug. But you're a full grown adult asking for, an, for asking for a hug. Sure, ask for a hug. But if someone says no, it's no. Don't just hug them. That's messed up. Ask. They say no, it's no. It no means no, no means no, no means no. And no means no, like a bleach and tone. Like a no means no, like a bleach and tone. No, no, okay? <laughs> so don't. Expect a hug when someone says no to a hug. I oh y'all making me mad for her. And the thing is, there I think that the thing is there are there are two sides to this. People are on my side where I'm saying, hey, like let's let's chill out with this famous thing, like with this putting people on pedestals, pedestals, and thinking that uh, you know them and and having these parasocial relationships. And then there's people on the other side that are like, she's entitled. We made you famous. You should be grateful. She is grateful. She's grateful for the money. She's grateful for the stage presence. She's grateful to be on the stage and to perform and do what she loves. She's very grateful for that. She's not grateful for the stalking. Ah! She's not grateful for the paparazzi. She's not grateful for, for no. Aw, womp. Aw, I'm crying. I'm so sad that Chapel doesn't want to give me a hug. Y'all are weird. And so moving on to parasocial relationships, not moving on, but moving on to the next person I really wanted to talk to that's been talked about but um, was more talked about in July, and that's when I was on my break. And so we're going to talk about Cody Co, bro. Like, that hurt. The Cody Co situation hurt horribly. And so if you don't know about the situation, um, Tana Mogo, Monjo, Mongo, Mango, Mojo. I'm so sorry. Is it Mongo? Tana Mongo. Tana! You know Tana. Um, she has a podcast. I'm going to move this. This is bothering me. I'm sorry. I tried to. I tried. I tried, guys. I tried. I got I to gotta move this a little bit. It's not centered and it's bothering me. Okay? This is Latox. It's fine. Okay. So, like, Tana Mojo <laughs> has, a, has a podcast called um, The Canceled Podcast. And on there, she talked about she – she had a question – from it was a live it was a live podcast and so she had a question on there and somebody somebody was asking who was like the worst sex you ever had and she was like jokingly not jokingly but she was like nervous laughing saying oh Cody Ko because he has a small you know what and also J C Kalen and she's like well it's fine I'm allowed to say that because I was seventeen ha 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 and everyone was like ha 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 wasn't he 25? People were start people start people started doing math. Wasn't he 25? And you were 17? That's a crime. No, that's a crime. And you know, I didn't know about it until D'Angelo Wallace had made a video about it, calling him out. And then after he made a video, Everyone else started calling him out, being like, okay, Cody, you need to say something about this. This is insane that you would do this. And the thing is, people, it was hard for people to believe because if you know Cody Ko, it's Cody Ko. He's had a, he had, he's had a, um, a presence online since 2013, since Vine was created. And then when Vine went out at 2017, he became the golden boy of, of YouTube with, with Noah, with, uh, with Noel. 
Is it Noel or Noel? Some of that. And the two of them made That's Cringe. He got really big. He made his podcast. He made two podcasts, Insanely Chill and uh, TMG Podcast. Uh, his, his wife has a podcast. And so I'm going to be 100% honest. Cody Ko, man, if you would have asked me a month ago what YouTubers I watched, Cody Ko, Smosh, and Two Out to Handle. Those are the those are the podcasts that I, was, that I would watch, and those are the YouTubers that I would watch. That's it. I would just cycle between the three. I used to watch PewDiePie a lot, but then he, since the kid, he just stopped um, posting as as often. But those were the people that I would I would cycle through. Cody Co. He posted three times a week, and I was sat Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays at twelve. I was sat to watch those videos. I would watch his podcast. I would watch everything. I was I was into his life, and I was I was I was I was, I was way more into his life when. When he announced the pregnancy and announced the wedding, I was like, oh my gosh, like they're really growing up. He's really starting his career. I unironically loved his DJ career. I loved his music. I had his music saved on my on my Spotify. I was unironically, okay, into his DJ, into into everything. I watched all of it. So hearing this happen, I was like, there's no way. I was like, there's no way. I was like, Cody? I was like, come on, man. Cody? Really? That don't make no sense. And what makes me so mad about what makes me so mad about this is like, chill, like come on, bro, a kid, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I got a rim. I got a rim. Like, what are you doing? And the thing is, it was it was a, it was a revealed that Gabby Hanna was at that party, and Gabby was like, hey, like you probably don't know, she looks a little bit older for her age. She's 17, you know that, right? And he was, like, oh yeah, no, yeah, sure. And then he still went and. And had relations with her. I don't want to get. I don't want to get demonetized. He still did what he did, and that's insane to me. And it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad that that he that that you're twenty. Like I'm twenty four. I could never even think about look. Look. Did you hear what I said? I could never even think about looking in the direction of a seventeen year old. I didn't even say talking. I said looking in the direction. I can't even think about looking at the direction, let alone talking to them, let alone. <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence. Let it, flirting, flirt, 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 flirting with them. <gasps> that is, the, oh, that's so nasty. That's so disgusting. The thing is, okay, I work with kids. I work with kids, right? And I work, like, speaking to, speaking to a teenager it's so like it's so draining and it's like it it take it like i can feel my intelligence like sorry i, I i'm sorry I, to the to the teenagers watching this i didn't even think about that sorry sorry it's just that 16 17 18 year olds that are watching this when you become 24 25 you'll understand what i'm saying because the the, the amount of maturity that you'll that you'll gain within the 7 years there's no way you would even Think about talking to a 17 year old. Cause it's like, you're in a whole different, you're in a whole different like mindset. So like, if I were even, if I like, I just feel like it's even insulting to even for someone to even like, if someone would be like, Oh, I have someone for you. They're 18. You just insulted me. I would be, I would so, I would be so insulted if someone was like, Oh, I have, I have someone for you, a blind date. They're 18. They're 19. You just you just insulted my intelligence. You just insulted my intelligence. The people that I I'm, I'm attracted to, oh, da, 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 da. I don't I don't know how I don't I still to this day do not know how people date people that are younger than them. Like when I think about um, Leo DiCaprio, he's like forty or or fifty or something like that, and he's dating people in their in their twenties. How 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 it's like not even twenties because like. 25 and up, I feel like, okay, like, you, you've got it together. Like, you, you you know, prefrontal cortex is developed, all this stuff. But he's dating, like, people that are 20. What are you, what are we doing? So when I think about Cody, I'm like, Cody, why would you do something like that? That is absolutely, that's absolutely insane. And so after this all came out, we have barely heard, we, have, we haven't heard any information from him. We've got no apologies, right? Let me make sure we've got no apologies, no videos or anything like that from him. Um, let me just make sure. Let me go to my YouTube real quick. 
Let's change this to YouTube really quickly because I'm like, H O T T. Okay, this one. Yeah, we haven't gotten anything, right? Really quickly, guys. Really quickly. I forgot to. I forgot to um, set this up for also YouTube, not just TikTok. Um. Let's see. Yeah, the last video. Oh, he's lost so many subscribers. He used to be at six million. He used to be at like six point three million or something like that. He's lost a lot of subscribers. As you can see, as you can see, look at the red lines, man. Look at the red lines. Every video has a red line because I have watched his videos down. I would watch his videos, man. That's crazy, bro. Hold on a second. And then Cody and Co. Hold on. Cody, Cody, Cody and Co. Okay. <gasps> oh, I thought he deleted his channel. I was about to be like, oh my gosh, dude. Like he deleted his channel. No, 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 no. No, yeah. Look at all these red lines. Sat. 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 Sat for him. Because he was, I, I, his comedy, he has the same sense of humor as I do. So I was a big fan of his. And yeah, nothing. No information, nothing like that. No sorries, nothing like that. And I think that he's just waiting it out. That's usually what happens. You know, what happens is they just wait it out. Where are we at right now? Oh my gosh, I forget that I'm recording. Sorry, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at the time. Anyways, that, I think that's what he's going to do. I think he's just going to wait it out. I think he's just going to be like, you know, after six months or after a year, I'm just going to come back. And I, I would be actually really shocked if he just comes back with a video and not even address it. Like a year from now, he he puts out a video, like a, like a reaction video, and just goes back to business as normal. And And yeah, it's been a month, so I wonder if they're, um, if he's trying to figure out what to do, because I do want to watch, I do want to watch Noel's video because I haven't watched it yet. His response and to see like what they're going to do moving forward. If he's going to make his own podcast, if Cody Ko's going to make his own podcast, because Cody Ko's more, more famous than Noel, right? So how, what he's going to, what he's going to do there what Kelsey's going to do, because I think Kelsey, I mean, Kelsey's going to stay stick beside her man. Like, she already knew about this. You know, she's going to stick beside her man. Um, But now he's affecting her career because she also was, she she quit her job as a, as a, um, she quit a job, quit her job as a daycare worker because she was going to be doing YouTube full time or full time, you know, because she was pregnant. She had a kid. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna like I don't know how to like I don't know how to explain it. Like I like I'm gonna miss seeing Kelsey and an and update on uh what the kid's name on their kid because I was watching them daily and it's like you the parasocial relationships. It's like I don't know them. I don't know them. But in my mind I felt like I did be, because they gave because of the persona that they gave. Because of the persona that he gave. It felt like I knew them. It felt like I was in their living room or in their studio, you know, watching, getting updates about about their kid and about their lives and about his running and all this stuff. But I didn't know him. I don't know him. You don't know Chapel. I don't know Sebastian Stan. I don't know these people. And they, they're just giving a persona that are like politicians do to get them to like you, to get the, to get the votes, to get the likes, to get the money. That's what it is. That's what makes it, it, and it's 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 really sad. And 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 um, I used to be a person where, when these things would happen, like the, these um, what's the words? When when people would get canceled, I'd be like, I never even liked them, so it it, it doesn't affect my day to day. But finally, it's a YouTuber that I actually really liked. I bought merch from I bought merch from him three times. I bought his merch. That's how much of a of a fan I was of his of his stuff. I bought March from him three different times. 
And I don't buy merch from YouTubers that much. The only the only other YouTubers I've bought merch from is Pew, is PewDiePie when he hit a hundred million, and from oh my gosh, uh, Curtis Connor. That's it. Oh oh, Michael Michael Plyer, Markiplier, when they did Unis Honest because um, I was a child and they were like, this will they'll never do Unis Honest again, so you might as well buy merch so that you can have the merch. Really? Anyways, I'd never even watched Markiplier before, Unis Honest. But that was the time. Anyways, I don't buy merch that often. But when I do, it's because I really like their the, their stuff. And I bought it three different times. I almost bought I almost bought his most recent merch, actually. The lunchtime one, the Cody Runs merch. I was so close to buying it, but I was like, oh, I don't have the money. It's $50. I don't have the money right now. Da, da, da. I was trying to move things around. Luckily, I didn't buy it because I would have been mad. But anyways, it, the parasocial relationships, you don't know them. You don't know them. They're putting a persona on. You do not know them. Okay. Let's watch, because we have to get to an hour. Oh, no. Oops. Oops. Sorry. The camera stopped recording. My big camera stopped recording. Okay. So let's watch Noelle's video. Oh, he's starting his own thing. Company Lot. What is this? Oh, he started company a lot two, um, two months ago. What? Let's watch this really quickly. I like I like that um Okay, so this was before him. The raw intelligence and capability according to this guy is well ahead of where it is now. The only thing holding it back is Okay. I'm not getting into that. Okay, no, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want getting into that right now. Yeah, response. Ah, uh, shit, eight, shit, eight, guys, hold on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me scream. Sorry, that was really loud. I was really, really loud. Really, 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 really loud. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm on the... That was really loud. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scream. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the TMG Podcast. Today's guest is very exciting, and I want to set this... I'm so sad. What's up, everybody? Uh, before we start this episode, I want to start by saying thank you. Uh, for just how supportive and understanding you all have been and patient uh, above all um, and understandably a lot of you want to know what I have to say about everything that's happened and the reality there is that I'm not in a position to speak about the situation um, and at this point really the thing I have to focus on is how to move forward um, you know which leads me to say uh, 
I want to thank everyone as well that just sent me messages of support, you know, just directly to me. Uh, that has been just very uh, motivating and reassuring, um, not just for me, but for everyone at the studio. Uh, that's kind of given us the energy we needed to, you know, take the first step back. I took some time and figured out a new direction for the show and where I want the company to okay. go overall. And so this episode, we didn't shoot it in studio. It's actually uh, kind of a crazy story. We flew to West Virginia, drove through a creek bed, hiked half a mile with the gear uh, to film with the guest, and um, it turned out to be a just a great story overall. We'll be filming out of studio for the next few weeks, and that's just because I want to build a new set. And uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of the plan. Um, again, I just want to thank you all. You have supported me for years. Uh, almost a decade and you've supported the studio for years and we all fully intend to give you what you've given us uh, for so long uh, that part is not going to stop so yeah it means the world to me just how much you all have been there for me and uh, I fully intend to yeah just keep at it and, and keep making things that I, I hope you love and enjoy <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world. Oh, I'm so used to hearing his voice after that. Sorry, it's just so weird. Sorry, it's just so weird. It's so weird. It's weird. It's weird. Welcome to the show. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Okay, anyways, it's just I liked his persona. It reminds, it reminds me of people I've dated. You know, when you get in a relationship and you start to fall out, and you start to like have the falling out and you start to look back, it's like this was a persona. You were this was not who you are, because now I'm seeing who you are. And I don't like this person. I like the I like the fake person that you gave me. Can we go back to that? Can I, I want to see the I want to see the fake person. I I like the persona that you gave me, that you fed me, and that's what worked. But now I'm seeing who you really are. I'm not. I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm good. I like the persona. Like I, it's it's nice. Sometimes I go back and I look at old like when I was going through it. I would look back at old texts and it'd be like. Man, I like this person. So, like, when you go back to old videos, it's like, I like this person. I, I like the person I knew before I knew who you really were, you know? Let me not ma get mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed. And so, I understand that that uh, Noel, it's good for Noel to to build a new studio, to, to build the whole a new studio, a new, bring something new to it, you know, a new vibe, but bring in a new host. Personally, I was worried about this in a different way. I was when when um when Cody announced the the marriage and the kid, I was like, oh, he's gonna retire. He's gonna become like PewDiePie, or where he's gonna barely post, or he's or he's gonna be like, oh, guys, I'm done with YouTube. I genuinely thought he was gonna be done with YouTube this year. He is just in a different way, because but he the thing is when he when he had the kid, he started posting more. I didn't he post he started posting even more when he after he had the kid. So. I thought, I, I don't know. This was time. He needs to step back. He needs to be done. There's not really much you can do to uh, to win back, to win, pe to win people back. There's not really much you can do there. Yeah. Um. Oh, my gosh. How much time do we have left? Oh, we have a lot of time left. We have 20 minutes left. Let's get into my life. I don't think really, there's not really much left for me to talk about when it comes to parasocial relationships. Anyways, let's talk about me. Because I talk, like I said, when I'm about to lay talks, we talk about things in the media and talk about the thing about my life, things in your life. If you like, comment, subscribe. So let's talk about my life now. What have I been doing? So y'all know about Dylan, the little three-year-old that I work with. He went back to daycare in August, so I no longer work with him. So I am now, that's why I'm back doing YouTube. The thing is, I was already going to come back and do YouTube, you know, this month. 
because I was supposed to go part time with Dylan, but they decided to go full time with him at the daycare. So I no longer have a job with him. So I'm looking for a new job right now. And I'm really trying to get this YouTube to, to pop off because I it's always been a dream of mine to do YouTube full time. I love doing this. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. I love doing YouTube full time. So I, I, you know, see myself doing this, like having this as a job. And I truly believe in myself. And that's so dangerous. That can be dangerous for a lot of people. Truly, but like I'm a little bit delusional. I dress up like I'm in I'm in my work clothes right now. Like I would wear work clothes just to be at home to be on the camera. But if I but if you don't think of it like that, if you don't think of it as a job and as a nine to five, how is it supposed to become real? How is this supposed to be a real thing? So I treat it as a nine to five. I come on, I do the camera and then I go to like a cafe and edit. And I did it like I I truly believe I can make this a real thing. And like no one can tell me differently. So. I'm looking for a part-time job right now because I want to be able to have time to do this part-time and then I need to pay bills, something to pay bills with, right? But I'm hoping that by the end of the year, I can have that 10,000 10, subscribers so that I can really do something with this YouTube. So that's really where I've been at. Um, I did take three months off because working full-time with a three-year-old is, I'm sorry to say, it's very draining, if you've ever been a nanny or if you have kids yourself, it's really, really draining. And being a nanny is even it's it's even more different than than being a parent because you have to be on. You have to be like, oh, today we're learning today. And it can't we can't do like a day where like, hey, can we just watch TV today? Hey, can we just relax today? There's no such thing as that because I'm on, I'm getting paid to do it. So I have to be on 10 all the time. And I'm sitting there playing with these toys and I'm like, I could be doing a YouTube video. I could be scripting right now. I could be da da da. So it really messed with my mental health. I'm not even gonna lie. And so I had to step away from YouTube because I couldn't do both. I didn't have the mental capacity to do both. I didn't have the mental capacity to do both. It was really, it was really, really tough, like going to work and then just coming home. And I'm like, I can't do anything else. Like I would go, I, I still kept up with my with my fitness, and I think that's what helped me a lot, but I, I didn't want to, the thing is, I did not want to give up fitness for YouTube, that's the one thing, I didn't want to, like, take three months off from fitness, like, I had three big things that I were doing, and I was like, I gotta take one away, I had to have a job, because I need to pay bills, and then I was like, I can't, I was like, I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta, I have to work out, I, I've been, I've, I've been, so I started my YouTube, I started my workout journey two years ago, and I can't have it to where I lose three, three months of progress. You know what I mean? So I was like, I know that with YouTube, I can come back. I did, I did at the beginning of the year when I came back in, in January and the, the things that I built up within those three months was incredible. I'm so, I'm so happy with the, the amount of subscribers that we've gotten and the support that I get now in, in the comments and, and all the followers. I, I love seeing all, all of your comments and I try to re reply to everybody. Um, but I was like, okay, I know I can take the summer off. And I know that since since the progress that I made in, in the springtime, I know that I can make pro even more progress in fall. And I'd rather make quality con quality content than like just throwing something out there. So I was like, let me focus on fitness and just getting through these three months so that I can be even better for YouTube. So we're back, Okay. We're back. We're better than ever. Two times a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm trying to stick to that schedule. I'm trying to see today. I'm actually today is Wednesday for me. I'm filming this. It's Wednesday, 1120 a.m. And this video is coming out today. OK, so because I was kind of iffy about what I wanted to do this week, because on Saturday, if you saw, I did the alien Romulus. I had on Jack, my my I almost said sister, my friend's boyfriend. Um, come on to the show to talk about Alien Romulus and talk about horror movies and things like that. So, you know, so I was like, do I want to do another video of, of Alien for Wednesday? And then I almost posted an old video that I had that I did film in the, in the summertime. It was like a, a, a Reddit stories, reading Reddit stories. And I almost posted that one today. But then the Chapel Rowan stuff is pretty popular right now. So I was like, okay, let me post 
I was like, let me let me film this because I was already I was gonna post this video that we're you're watching right now. I was gonna post this one on Saturday and post the Reddit one today, but I was like, you know what? Let me switch it because everyone's talking about Chapel Rowan right now. So I was like, oh, let me film it because I was gonna film this video tomorrow, Thursday, for Saturday. I was like, oh, let me film it now so I can so I can put this one up. Anyways, 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 just trying to say this all that to say. I'm trying to stick to the schedule. And um, we're two weeks in, and we've gotten like 30 subscribers so far in the two weeks, which is insane. I just feel like I never saw, would see those numbers before this year, before 2024. I would see, I remember I made a video in 2021 of me at the end of the year being like, oh my gosh, thank you to the 75 subscribers we made this year. 75 subscribers that we made this year. Okay, so getting 30 within a, within two weeks is insane to me. And I think that's incredible that that people subscribe and, like, want to see more of me. Like, that's what that means. Like, people want to see more of me and, and you know, like, want to hear from me. Like, hear my opinion on stuff. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Is that it? I think that's it, guys. So this could be a shorter video, a shorter podcast. It's 45 minutes. I think that's enough. Like, if y'all are in a 45-minute drive, I did a lot of rambling. That's why we do the lives. Because I do, I stutter a lot. I like to ramble. I I go off on tangents, and that's why the the movie reviews have to be scripted because I go on tangents, and I'm like, I lost my point. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> so they they have to be scripted. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm looking at myself, and I look really pretty. That's why I keep looking to the side. I look really pretty. Y'all like the new hair? I have to go finish it. Do you see this? Oh wait, wait, is it on the side? Y'all see this piece of hair? It's not done. This is the old hair. I gotta finish the hair. So don't look at that. Look at the new hair. Y'all like the short look? Okay, for summertime. I mean, not summertime. It's, not, it's no longer summer. I wish I did this for the summer, but it's like, it's so much better. Like, my back isn't as hot. I wish I did this hairstyle, but it has taken me forever because the parts are way smaller than what I usually do. As you can tell, like I, like I said from this piece, we can see how much thicker that is. That's the original one, and then see how much smaller they are. So it's taken me a lot longer to finish this hair. But it's worth it because it's, like, so, like, you know, like, demure. I just say it. I just say it, guys. It's so demure and mindful and cutesy that it's, like, I just love it so much. So I have, like, a whole new wardrobe, too. Like, I went to Target um, today. I don't know. The other day. I don't know if y'all been to Target yet, but they're corporate girly. Let me show you. Let me show you the full outfit, actually. Do I have the jacket? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I mean to be extra. But look at these pants. Look at these linen pants. Okay, they're super cutesy. I don't have any shoes on. But it's like so corporate vibes. Let me do a little squat. Ah! I ate down with that squat. Let me do a lunge. Because I, I don't want to move the camera because I don't want the camera to unplug. Nobody ever gets this far in the video, so I feel like I can be a little bit more chaotic. If you did get this far in the video, no, you didn't, okay? But look, isn't this corporate vibes, right? And then and then the linen loose pants, because it's still hot. I live in Texas. It's still very much hot here. So, yeah. I'm going to take this off. Ooh, we're back, we're back, yeah. So I'm, like, obsessed. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm not even going to try to be, like, I'm not even going to try to be demure here. I'm not. I'm I'm obsessed. Anyways, let's end the video. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to like. Because if you made it this far by now, guys, you better have liked the video. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment. Because I want to talk about your lives. It's supposed to be about things in the media, things in my life, and things in your life. So if you're not commenting, being like, Oh, Alea, this is what happened in my life. Can you, can you unpack it? I'll unpack it. Okay? All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.